All right, on this video, we are going to talk about the Cash App. So if you're not familiar with that, be sure to go back and watch the other video. It kind of does an overview of what this app does, but that is the icon, Cash App. What we're going to talk about more specifically is how to add a bank account and attach it to your Cash App. So that way you can add money into your Cash App or you can withdraw money from your Cash App into your bank account. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna go over how to download the Cash App. It's pretty easy. Just go to the App Store, just type in Cash App, look for this icon, and then you'll be able to download it. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this up right now. Just click on it. So here we are, we're inside my Cash App. I've already attached my bank account because I use this app pretty often to transfer money between friends. I get paid through here. There's just a couple of different reasons why I use it. So I've already done that, but I will walk through the steps with you on how to attach your bank account. So what you're gonna wanna do is, this is the main screen right here. Once you get this open, you're gonna wanna click up here. This is the settings or profile. If you put your picture there, there's where your picture is gonna show up. I never put my picture there just cause I didn't really see a purpose to it, but just go ahead and click on where your picture would be. And then you can see the referral code right here. But anyhow, that's not important. The most important part is if you're gonna attach your bank account, you just scroll down and right here. So this first one right here shows how much cash you have in your cash app. I just got paid, so I have $1,100 in there. This is Bitcoin. I don't really use this. We'll talk about that in a different video. And here is gonna be your bank account. So again, I've already added my Chase Bank. If I didn't add that, it'll say something like add bank account. So if you want to do that, all you do is just click here and it's gonna give you a couple of different options. So for me, I have my bank debit card attached and I also have my Chase bank account, the actual account number. Now, what you wanna be sure to know is that this account number is not gonna be your debit card. Those are two different things, even though they go to the same account typically. So make sure you have that information available that you have your routing number and your bank account number just to verify. But basically once you get in here and you click on the options that it has for you, it's gonna prompt you and kind of walk you through adding into your bank account. You may have to log into your bank through this app. So make sure you have your username and password. Don't give that to anyone. If they call you or email you or something like that, don't give it to them through those methods. It's only log into it through this app while you're doing it. There's a lot of scams out there for Cash App where some people try to get a hold of your bank account or your Cash App or login information. Be really skeptical about that because if you give them that information, it's possible they clean you out. If you look in the comments below, you can see some people have mentioned that their bank account is cleaned out because somehow they gave their login information or bank account information, so don't be that person. So once you're here in the bank account, you want to add a bank and what's going to happen is this little pop-up comes up. I guess a lot of people who use Cash App have these bank accounts. So you just want to kind of look through here. Mine was Chase, so I just clicked on Chase. And then as you see, it just brings you to a login screen for Chase. You would just log in with your user ID and your password and then it links the two into your Cash App. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So if you bank with someone else, let's say Bank of America, same thing, you click on it and then it brings up your password and login ID. That way it can link the two accounts, it's really easy. Same thing with all of these. So the USAA Federal, Navy Federal, Citibank. So if these banks you don't bank with, you use somebody else, just click down here on other and then you're gonna enter your routing number and your account number. And that's how you're gonna be able to link those two accounts. So once you get that to go through, then it's gonna show you it was accepted or two accounts are linked. Then at that point, you're free to transfer money in and out of your Cash App. You can transfer it to your bank account. You can transfer it out of your Cash App into your bank account if you wanted. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty easy to attach your bank account to Cash App. Hopefully you found the video useful. If so, click thumbs up. And if you haven't signed up for Cash App yet, be sure to click the description for a referral code if that's still going. You get a little bit of cash and so do I just for signing up. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.